Stockweiler, Corbin Fiddler, JC Fiddler, CG Garrett, Miracle Gaunt, Caleb Glasgow, Randy Hinky, Adam Johnson, Callie King, Alex Liss, Josh McKinnon, Hannah Millison, Trayton Scapato, Brianna Schwab, JJ Shadaba, Madison Smith, Isabella Fuller, Carson Turner, that's a lie, Erica Van Fossen, Kira Boulder, and Cesar Zavala. Help me recognize these two. is a way to give recognition to students who go beyond daily participation in band by taking advantage of enrichment opportunities to promote their personal growth and contributions to the group. In order to letter, students need to earn 500 points and have a B minus or better semester one and quarter three grade. Points are earned for every performance, auditioning for all state and honor band, participating in solo uh, small ensemble contests, and participating in jazz band, etc. I will now recognize those students who have received the letter award in band. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. First year letter winners, Ethan Bryson, yeah. Caden Staley, Jeffrey Fiddler, Ethan Glidden, Corbin Hunter, Kalina Lauber, Ben Miller, Addison Moore, Jasmine Osborne, Duncan Stoll, and Carson Turner. Woo! Second year, letter winners, Tyson Bramble, Hunter Christensen, Amelia Hess, Katie Plowman, John Schwab, and Kenton Taylor. Year letter winners, Aaron Eberly, Rylan Hinky, and Sarah Tunley. And four year letter winners, Paige Barr, Paige Daly, Ashlyn Eberly, Emma Harris, Joella Patterson, Lance Regeer, and Isabel Smith. There is also a double letter available to those students who go way above and beyond. To receive the double letter, students must reach 1,000 points. These students participated in nearly every opportunity available to them and did well. We had three students reach that point this year. First, is Xavier DeGroote earning his first double letter and his third letter. Second is Grant Turner earning his first double letter and his third letter. And finally is Madison Fuller earning her fourth double letter and her fourth overall letter. Now I'd like to welcome Jeffrey Fiddler to introduce our next question. Good evening. <laughs> uh, I'm Jeffrey Fiddler. I play the trumpet and I'm a senior. So our next piece is uh, In a French Garden by Richard Meyer. So, In a French Garden is a free and personastic composition fashioned in the style of the Buffy piano prelude, full of legato passage and com uh, contemporary harmonies. The, the rich palette of colors and har harmonics, mo motion, invokes images of lightness and playful, career, carefree air. 
Richard Meyer is a full-time public school music educator and has taught string students in elementary, middle school, and high school levels for over 30 years. He is nationally recognized best-selling composer with over 130 compositions and arrangements in, the, in print and is the string editor for Alfred Publishing Company. Enjoy our next piece. a special group of students who are performing their last home concert as students at Clarinda High School tonight. We have 12 seniors in band this year who all are who all who are four-year band members and will receive a plaque from band boosters thanking them for their commitment and four years of service to the program. Please come forward when I call your name. Our first senior is Paige Barr who plays trombone in the concert band and bass in the jazz band. 
She plans to attend Creighton University to obtain a degree and become a physician assistant. Next is Paige Daly, who plays clarinet. She plans to attend Kansas City, Kansas Community College to study mortuary science. <laughs> Ashlyn Eberly plays trumpet in the concert band and mellophone in the marching band. She plans to attend the University of Iowa to study to major in radiation sciences. Jeffrey Fiddler. Jeffrey! Yes. <laughs> plays trumpet in the uh, concert band and also plays mellophone in the marching band this year. Has joined the Marines and will head to boot camp after graduation. <laughs> Emma Harris is from our percussion section. She will be attending Iowa State University to study psychology. Helena Lauber plays euphonium, and she plans to attend Iowa Western to work on a nursing degree. Woo! Joshua McKinnon is from our profession section, and he plans to attend the University of Iowa in the fall. continuing her education. <laughs> Katie Plowman plays the horn. She plans to attend the University of, of Iowa to study anthropology. Here is from the trombone section. He plans to attend the University of Iowa. <laughs> and major in marketing. He never responded to my message, though. So. He's been attending the last two days, so I forgive him. Isabel Smith plays alto saxophone. She will be attending the University of Northern Iowa to study elementary education. <laughs> and last is Madison Fuller from the euphonium section. She also plays bass in the jazz band, and she plans to take a gap year. through the most challenging of times. What impresses me most about them is their loyalty and perseverance. It would have been easy to quit band during a year and a half where we basically did nothing other than rehearse and give home concerts. We weren't able to go to contests, travel, or participate in some of the most fun elements of band. The icing on the cake for me is that by continuing to work hard through adversity, they were able to maintain a high level of excellence and instill pride in the program. The reward for that was being selected as the best two-way concert band in the state and being asked to perform at the Iowa Bandmasters Association Conference next week. Not many students in this state, only four bands perform, can say that their last high school performance was as a state champion. I am beyond proud of all of these students and have enjoyed getting to know them over the years. I genuinely could not, 
couldn't have asked for a better group to share the IVA prep experience with. I trust them immensely and know that each of them has a bright future ahead. Help me thank them for their service.
Grant Turner will now introduce our final selection. Our final piece of the night will be Cosmopolitan America by Helen May Butler. Helen May Butler was an American band leader who led an all-women's band from 1898 to 1912 to widespread acclaim, which in combination with her Susa-like forceful personality garnered her as a moniker of the female Susa. Butler wanted to lead a band that could perform in public venues, but at the time such activities were not considered appropriate for young women. The popular the popular military bands of the time, in particular, had developed from a strong male tradition and generally excluded women well into the 20th century. So, so in, 19, in 1898, Butler formed her new group called the U.S. Palmer Ladies Military Band. During its heyday, the band, which was eventually renamed to Helen May Butler and her Ladies Military Band, toured America from coast to coast, playing music by American composers, played by American girls. They were, they were every bit as busy as Sousa's band, playing a concert every day for 15 months during one stretch in 1903 to 1904. Her march, Cosmopolitan America, was written for the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair and was selected as the official march for the Theodore, for Theodore Roosevelt's presidential campaign. On behalf of the band, I want to thank you all for attending our Spring Awards concert. We hope that you'll be able to make the trip to, to Des Moines next Thursday for our performance at the Iowa Band Masters Association concert. Thank you. 
you so much. We appreciate your attendance tonight and hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening.